Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonfireTools.com. Industrial workbenches with integrated tool storage. And brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Mountaintop USA, the global leader of retractable tonneau covers for the world's pickup trucks. Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM fit radio since 1977. And by Eagle Lights, finally crafted LED lighting solutions. Now, when you're performing a brake job, it's a good idea to take a good look at your brake pads. They can tell you what's going on with your entire brake system. Welcome to this AMS Oil Tech Tip on reading brake pads. Well, they can tell you a lot, and you can see it right here. Starting on this first one, you got an inner pad wear. Now, your inner pad wear, because of the floating and moving calipers, is probably due to your slides are sticking or it's not moving, and your inner pad's going to wear out. You got tapered wear here, which is actually caused by usually misinstallation of the pad, and the pad's kind of off center there on your rotor or your actual caliper itself, that's a problem. Starts to get hot, starts to burn up. You get the actual glazing, crackling or lifted edges here. And then this one's pretty cool. It's overlapping friction material. Now I'll give you a better look right here on the table. What are they supposed to look like? Here's one right here, which is a brand new pad. It looks good. You got a high coefficient of friction. Your next one, well, this is actually glazed. You can see it's all shiny and it's also tapered. It's bigger on this side than that side. This one, well, it's pretty obvious. It's all chunked up. And then the cool one right here is that overlapping. Now, what is that? That's because the rotor was actually too small. And you can see it's not even touching it on that surface right there. And what happens is you have that overlapping. Now, no matter if you're replacing the pads or doing anything with your brakes, you have to keep it clean, Len. You know what the number one cause of brake squeal is? I'm thinking it's going to be dirt. Absolutely, dirt or loose pads. Now you got a product that's going to keep the brakes clean, not only at the end of the job, but during it as well. Exactly. You want to use brake cleaner to clean that dust out of there, spray everything down real nicely. You want to avoid compressed air. You don't want to put all those contaminants in the environment, but you use, you hit it with the brake clean, it'll bring it all right to the floor. That solvent will help clean all that dirt off there and you start out with a nice clean brake job. Yeah, and you think about that, Len. I mean, I just touched these brake pads. I mean, barely touched them. And you guys can see that's all on my hands, not to mention the grease, the dirt from working on the car. That stuff's going to get transferred from the pad to the rotor. There's my coefficient of friction. Big old word to saying, hey, it's not going to do the stopping. Exactly. You want to make sure everything's clean. Yeah, and you can do that. Check them out on their website, amsoil.com. Brake clean is there and so many other cool products. It's just a click of the button away. Our PaintedAutoParts.com Motorhead of the Week is Rick Swartz. Now, Rick first crawled into a race car when he was just five years old. Unfortunately, it wasn't his car. It actually belonged to Tom the Mongoose McEwen, the famous drag racer. And oh, by the way, Mongoose was sitting in it in the staging lanes when Rick got in there. We know Mongoose probably wasn't too pleased, and neither were Rick's parents, but Rick was hooked on motorsports. After working for several race teams as a kid, he eventually went to racing school with dreams of racing in the Indy 500. And after three days, he was faster than everyone in a class that included an actual IndyCar driver too. Rick was fast, and I mean really fast, in lots of cars, including Formula Ford, Formula Mazda, and the Mazda Pro Series, even in Trans Am. But as happened so often, life got in the way back in the 1990s, and Rick's dream of racing at Indy slipped out of his grasp. In recent years, Rick has worked as an instructor for the Brakes Teen Driving School, teaching kids safe driving techniques and likely saving lives. And by the way, he swore he'd never go to the 500 unless he was racing in it. Well, just this May, at 58 years old and facing a cancer called multiple myeloma, Rick decided it was finally time to go to Indy. And he did get to do some hot laps, if only as a ride-along in a two-seater. Thanks, Rick Swartz, for being the PaintedAutoParts.com Motorhead of the Week. We wish you good health and good luck. Oh, by the way, you too can be Motorhead of the Week. Just send us a note at MotorheadGarage.tv and tell us your story. Thanks for being with us here at Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com. Until next week, we will see you. Drive safely. <laughs>